Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another edition with your host and moderator, me, Grandpa Bill. Some of you are here by our invitation, where applicable, my two church mice, Peter and Paul, each and every day. Now six years and running, we do two daily audio shows, workouts for geriatrics, a.k.a. Silver Streakers. Good for all kids from 1 to 92 there. How about health and wellness? Main, M-A-I-N-E, cross-promotion. Main businesses. Also, moments in business and in life, mostly in life, now retired. This is my YouTube offering, Bill Holt, at Bill Holt 8792. Please do like us, share us, give us that thumbs up. We continue to grow one star seed at a time exponentially with your help in doing so. So again, BHL Sales going to help holistic healing hour with your host and moderator, me, Grandpa Bill. Usually at these YouTube offerings, I'm here 10, 25 minutes, somewhere in between, outlying what will be coming up at my shows to include, to include upcoming guests. Now that we're into a new week, at time of this taping, it's very Late in the evening on September 15th, close enough for approaching into September 16th by the time probably anybody views this. So within this week, guest-wise, in studio on Thursday, the 19th, at 10 a.m. in the morning, I'll be taping with new friend and first-time Appearance and introduction for both of us to each other. Tam Vayu from the Healing Spa here in Maine, at Main Street up in Brunswick, that I've done a couple of prelude shows about. When Tam gets here, it's all about talking about, it's actually a little bit better than a year since they just celebrated their first year anniversary. So we'll be talking about introducing more people to them, and it's embraced around a big event there on the 21st Saturday that I'll be attending in the audience. And that's led by Seth Lee Brzezinski, who does our guided weekly meetings over at freedomsnap.org each and every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm awake now what dot com says website to get you in touch with what we do, how we do it over there. And I believe Seth is going to be stopping into my house coincidentally <laughs> on the nineteenth in the evening. He and I will get together for what will be our second kind of informal but kind of formal got a little theme going here, I hope. It's embraced around his fine work with Mari Gold here in Maine at the Unity Pavilion. And they took a little summer hiatus of sorts. And their first one, now that we're in fall, close enough officially, will be this Thursday evening there with Seth leading some guidance with Mari, picking that up where they left off. And my house is really close in proximity to that venue. So Seth stopped in several weeks ago now when we talked about meditation. And there we talked about stethoscopes and stethoscope meditation, something that will be coming up through Seth on the horizon at some point in time also. So when Seth gets here on Thursday, I always like to have him speak about whatever he wants to speak about at that time by gracing me with his presence to do so. But share a little bit what he, I think he's going to come before he speaks there. He may, at, at, with Mari at the pavilion, it may be on the backside of it, irregardless, or regardless. If he shares with us a little tiny bit, if it's on the front side, at time of taping with me, 
what he will be talking about when he got there, a little snippet. I want to say, have uh, talked about in, in previous summer, early summer appearances before. And if it's on the backside, what he did talk about with Mari this coming Thursday. It's all going to tie in to, because I'll have him give us a little heads up also on the official date of the 21st. The time is 4 to 6 p.m. on Saturday and talk about the resonance, the bioscalar resonance at the Healing Spa, which I'll also be talking about with with Cam Bailey from the Healing Spa. And I think we're going to talk about her energy almanac book, which I just ordered, too, as it goes to publishing for 2025. I think in November she starts to release those. So I'm on that list. Love to have her talk about that. And Tam's already agreed to come back, so there's multiple subjects, depending on how uh, involved we get the first time. Probably pretty much dedicated to the fanfare and the opening, and not the opening of the, of the Healing Spa, but the big anniversary and to-dos that have come by Seth and Tam doing some resonance work already and preparing to do oh so much more. These are going to be regular events. So we'll have Seth. And Tam, expand upon those when they get here to do so. So today, for about another seven to ten minutes, those of you, welcome one and all, however you got here, regular visitors, if you're here first time, do check out my archival shows. Of recent note, archivally, I've been talking a lot, again, about one of my other bucket lists, magnetic memory methods and the techniques that I use. And I'm thinking about offering a book and with mnemonics and all of that. But my assignment this week, because I also have one of Dr. Metabier's workbooks that's based on 52 weeks of challenges each and every week. I'm in my seventh week now. I talked about weeks five and six, I think, in my last archival shows, outlining what I'm actually doing in those PDFs. It's a PDF version that I'm reading on the weekly challenges. This week, it's acronyms. So I threw it out there that when I do this mnemonic book archivally, I'll have you all reference that. When I get to the radio shows, I'll revisit that using ideas. It's all about community, and everything that I do is about community, main cross promotion. It's what I did in business and in life, trying to reinforce community. So my acronyms, I always sign off my shows with the word peace, <laughs> you know, implying the situation, peace, and trying to instill peace. So one of my assignments this week is to formulate acronyms, several of them, through Dr. Anthony Medivier's workbook, and they're all, <clears throat> pardon me, they're all embraced around what we learned. I took his structured program and, you know, the memory palace techniques and the mnemonics and what we talk about and what he talks about within his program. So it's all embraced about using those techniques. So I used the word PEACE for today, acronym P E A. C, E, and quickly I want to go through and I'm looking for your help on the rest of the week coming up with some other words as I'm also looking to make the potentiality of me writing a mnemonic book right now on paper very much in its infancy involving the community, because it's especially here at home because it's going to be about Portland, Maine. So the narrative on my assignment today is to create an acronym. So I'm coming up with PEACE, P-E-A-C-E, -E, that I sign off the show with in the word itself. So here, breaking down the letters for P, I want the P to stand for people, and coming up with key ideas, unique to the word that I devised today, then I'm going to try to devise five more, hopefully, this week 
as it starts to fetter out three to five as the assignment calls for over the week and then I'm to list four to eight key words for each acronym as deep as I take it each day. Okay, so today's word is peace. P standing for people and my key ideas under that category are human connection, community, empathy, diversity, and inclusivity because I'm also supposed to come up with key words to help draw attention to the categories. So unique to the letter P, social bonds, my key words, interpersonal relationships, diverse perspectives, empathy, compassion, understanding, inclusivity, and community building. Thanks for your patience, because I'm going to try to create a visual here, and I'll do my very best. So now the word, uh, excuse me, letter E of the word PEACE, acronym. So I'm using the word, the letter E for the word ENGAGING. So my key ideas for the category and or word ENGAGING is involvement interaction, participation, active listening, and shared experiences. My key words for that category, engaging the letter E in peace, the acronym, thank you, are active participation, involvement, interaction, engagement, collaboration, shared experiences, open communication, and active listening. The letter A in peace, meaning aligning, key ideas, harmony, agreement, unity, shared goals, common purpose, the key words, alignment, unity, agreement, harmony, shared goals, community, I'm sorry, common purpose, cooperation, and synergy. Now the letter C, either communally or community for the letter C of the word peace. The letter C in this acronym example for today, Monday the 16th. The key ideas with communally slash community, community, communally, doing it together, togetherness, collective effort, shared responsibility, community-driven, and social impact. My key words towards that letter C, community or communally, in the word peace for the acronym, the key words are community-driven, collective effort, shared responsibility, togetherness, social impact, community engagement, collaboration, and unity, and then the letter E, peace, <laughs> acronym, with the letter E meaning enlightened or enlightenment. My key ideas are knowledge, awareness, wisdom, understanding, growth, my key words for that word are indeed enlightened, informed, knowledgeable, aware, wise, understanding, growth, and self-improvement. Tomorrow, I'll come up with something a little bit different, very early drawing board. I'm going with the letters. It's not necessarily a word. I'm creating an acronym. H B C A L M. And it could be B H as in Bill Holt. It probably will be. And then the word C A L M. So let's go with B H. C A L M B period H period C period A period L period M period. I talk about calmness, repose. <laughs> My name's Bill Holt. 
So the B of B period, H period, C period, A period, L period, M period, the B here would be balance because it's something I talk about in the workouts for geriatrics. The H, you know, Bill Holt, BH, BH sales, the H would be harmonize. The C for calm, the C would be coherence. The A would be align. The L would be love. The M would be mindfulness. Keywords pertinent to that one. Harmony, balance, coherence, alignment, love, mindfulness, peace, inner peace, emotional regulation, stress reduction, and well-being. <clears throat> Another one that I'm batting around maybe for day three, S-E-N-S-E, sense, with the S word being synchronized, the E word being energized, the N word being nourish, the S letter, I should be saying, strengthen, and E to empower. Key words pertinent to synchronization, energy, nourishment, strength, empowerment, vitality, resilience, self-care, all the things I've talked about at my shows for many years, not just six years, the 12 years that I've been doing podcasting way before that, long ago and far away, sort of part of 30 years as a sole proprietor within the industry, both animal and human supplementation, health related, and long ago and far away when I left corporate America and broke into many independent endeavors, fish oil, so on and so forth. So that would get me to about Wednesday, Thursday, possibly the word C, connect, C, O N N E C T coming up with the letter C being connect, the letter O being optimize, the letter N being nurture, the double N second one being nourish, E being energize, C being cultivate, T being transform, keywords per under two, connection, optimization, nurturing, nourishment, energy, cultivation, cultivation, transformation, growth personal development, and then I believe maybe Friday, I haven't quite gotten that far on Monday already on what I might shoot for for Monday, so let's get back on camera to myself here, that's what I'm looking for for your intervention, your interaction, join me at the shows, both the radio shows and my YouTube offering. And I'll have probing questions in the descriptions of each, looking for your interaction. And I'll have Tam and Seth, if not, you know, this Thursday when they come, because of what the essence of the conversations are going to be for the obvious reasons, embraced around the event that's coming up this weekend. But it's all tied into what my part is now in retirement giving back in Google ambassadorship. And it's always been my passion to rebuild communities locally, regionally, worldwide. So again, we continue to support all people worldwide, Main Street, Portland, Maine, Main Street, USA, Main Street, around the world, all wild animals being driven out of their national environments, feral rescue pets, domesticated pets with the same concerns as we humans, their owners, <laughs> right? The pets own us, right? Good, clean foods, medicines, all the integrity of the soil and toxins, hopefully perceived as a harbinger of good information. My capacity is the porcelain junction box to put you in touch literally with butchers, bakers, candlestick makers, doctors, lawyers, entrepreneurs, authors, women's health experts, men's health experts, psychoanalysts, psychotherapists, soon bioscalar energy experts, bioresonance, guided meditation, Seth Lee Brzezinski, freedomsnap.org, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, weekly. Join us. Many intuitive groups, large members of, including this one, 
and many more that I haven't even begun to talk to about yet with the last couple of months of this year. That's my objective. We couldn't do it without you. We grow one star seed at a time, which is the epitome of apothecary medicine, paying it forward. And by you interacting with the engaging, hopefully perceived as such, probing questions, that helps for part of with my guests. What aren't we covering? What are you experiencing? So I'll have those questions for you with some help, helping me out with these acronyms if you care to do so. They're great mental focuses. I'll talk a lot about this over at the Workouts for Jerry Atrics for the exercise in and of itself. So we're here each and every day. One more time on the YouTube channel, Bill Holt at Bill Holt 8792. Like us, share us, give us the thumbs up. More importantly, please do subscribe. We are growing one star seed at a time exponentially with your help. And together, thriving alive to survive yours, mine, and ours. My guests, our guests, the groups, their social media, our social media is really starting to broaden the horizon. Where the little train that could and I couldn't be more happier with that. That's my function with this little old organic show. Continuing to do it daily with your help. Make it a safe and peaceful day and productive day. Bye-bye for now, and may God bless. Peace, everybody. We'll see you at the shows. Thank you very much.